What's going on guys? Um, today we're going to be doing another desktop in the series. Uh, this one's going to be a feminine desktop. Colors are going to be pink, white, things like that. Um, it's going to be very just streamlined, ready for use. Um, I know that my wife, she's not super into tech unless it looks nice. So I made this so you guys can show it to your girlfriend or maybe you want it for yourself. Anyways, let's uh, check it out. To begin, open your internet browser of choice. Go to the link in the description. Click download, wait for the file to finish, then open the compressed file. Drag all those files to the desktop or somewhere else that you won't lose them. Next, open the rain meter installer, do the standard installation. Once complete, open rain meter from the system tray. Here, we'll want to disable any skins that we already have running under active skins by clicking the unload button. Go ahead and run each of the green raindrop.rm skin files included with the supplied files. Install all three of them. Go to your photos and create a new folder, or find the folder where you keep your backgrounds and copy or drag the background there. Set it as your desktop. I like to delete files I don't need as I go. Next you'll want to locate the included sticky notes folder and copy it to your C drive. This is a reference.txt file for your note skin. So now we're ready to install Nexus Dock. That's the macOS looking interactive bubbly dock. So click the Nexus setup file. Accept everything as default. Click finish and Nexus Dock should start up. Click on the Nexus symbol on the far left or access it from the system tray. Click on the Advanced tab and choose Restore. Navigate to where you stored the files and locate the wsbackup.wbk file. Now the doc should be properly formatted but with no icons. Return to your photos or somewhere else safe and copy the icons folder. If you have any requests for icons, Please comment them on this video and I'll be sure to try to include them in the next video. Go to your new dock and choose an icon. Right click and select Dock Entry Properties. Go down to Change Icon and navigate to the Icons folder we just safely stored in your photos. Click OK and the icon should change. I'll quickly go through and change the rest. So now all the icons should be proper on the dock. We now need to hide the true Windows taskbar so all we see is the Nexus dock. Open Nexus dock preferences and navigate to general. Enable hide windows taskbar and apply. Now that we're visually done, all that's left is to fix the icon links. Head back to Dock Entry Properties and search for the program you're trying to fix. Here we'll search for Spotify. Right click the app and choose Open File Location. It'll show you a shortcut. Again, show file location of the shortcut and now we found the true file. Open its properties, find the location path and copy it. Go into the icon properties that we have open and replace the path other than the .exe file name. Click OK and now the icon should work as expected. 
Spotify opens right away. And there we have it, this clean, organized, feminine desktop, all complete and ready for use. We've got a nice little note section, a calendar, we've got the time in text. I think that looks pretty sharp. Uh, the background is just nice and simple, and I personally really like it. Um, let me know what you think. If you liked it, like the video. If you really liked it and want to see more, hit the subscribe button. We're coming out with new things all the time, new videos every week. And yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.